Hello guys, good uh, good day and happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Um, I had a subscriber who requested for more examples on component method. So I would like to give you guys another example of using component method, but this one is very practical. So I made my morning walk along Times Street, which is a historic street uh, where three of uh, our former presidents of our country lived they have the house there and uh, after that i walk along west avenue so i will show you with the app that i downloaded for this example problem so i have here the strava app which uh, will show you your path as you walk or bike or do your exercises i recorded the angles that i use using protractor so i i have to to measure on the map the angles and the direction so the measurements are already recorded here so here's what I did so I walk straight along time street so as you can see here so as you can see uh, when you walk it's not actually a straight while you're walking okay but somehow uh, you know it varies so as I approach this corner, so this is the end of the Times Street, and I'm now going to the West, along West Avenue. So I'll let me show you some picture or video here. As I was walking on the street, and as you can see here, so, and then I'll just go, went straight up to when I reached the, this is near the SM North already. So let me show you a sample. So that's what I, I did. And this is the, the corner in Edsa West Avenue. And that is, uh, you, you can find the SM North. Okay, so let us analyze my motion. So I will give you the readings already, the measurements. Okay, so I in, included the picture here of the given so you can actually use a ruler and protractor to to calculate this and uh, here are some of the calculations so i use a coordinate here and then i measured the angle so I measure this angle and i also made some coordinates here and there okay let me use a straight line like this and like that and again i use a uh, a protractor and I use the ruler of the map so the map has a ruler which you can use you can actually see an icon and then beside it is measure so you can use that to measure the distance the, the dimension in in your map so <clears throat> based on my measurement I was able to record a value of for for vector a so let's just call this vector a so here we use a yellow color so this is your vector a and let's call this as our vector vector b okay so you have here vector a and vector b so these are values already and we determined it we measured it Vector A is 1.3 kilometers, so I walk 1.3 kilometers, about 30, uh, I think it was 33 degrees, south of west, so it's downward and then to the west side, okay, and then for my, so this is your south, This is your south, this is your west, and here, this is north, this is east, and so is the other side. For B, for vector B, it's going a little bit upward. So it's north of uh, east, and the angle that I measured there is about 77. So um, the distance is 1.9 kilometer, 77 degree north of east 
Okay, so these are our given variables. Now, take note that uh, in our component method later, we, we are going to use an angle with respect to the positive x-axis. So here. So even if we have 33 degrees south of west, what we're going to use is that angle with respect to the positive x-axis, this angle. So I will show you later. <clears throat> now, if you're going to do po po <coughs> excuse me, polygon method, um, in polygon method, we know that we're just going to draw a line like this, right? And then the, the magnitude of the vector is the length of that arrow, while the, the, res the direction is with whichever the arrow points, and that is somewhere north of west. And there's also, also an angle. And I measured it using a protractor. So using polygon method, So using polygon method, what I measured is we should get an answer of the resultant is about 1.3 kilometer and the direction is about 60 degree north of west. And we should get similar answer to this using a pop component method. So let's now uh, solve this using component method. So if you've watched my previous video about the first example, you should be able to follow me now. So let's write, uh, so this is your, so to make it organized, you can write your solution in a tabular form. Okay, like this. So now, we can separate the x and y components. So we have vector a and a vector a is uh, given by this. ax is equal to a cosine theta, whatever the angle is. And that's equal to 1.3 kilometers, right? 1.3 kilometers cosine of, again, the critical part is you're going to use the, the, the angle that is with respect to the positive x axis. So here you have um, here you have this vector, but what you're going to, to use is this angle with respect to the positive x-axis, and that is, this is at uh, 33. So what you're going to do is 180, because this is 180 plus another 33, so that's 180 plus 33, or... 200, what is it? Make sure I, what, 213 degrees. So that's the angle that you're going to use. So 213 degrees. And if you get to use a calculator, you should be able to get an answer of negative one point, actually 1.09. I'll just write in three decimal for now. A, for the Y component, AY is equal to A sine Theta and the theta again is 213. So that's 1.3 sine of 213. And you can verify this with your calculator. You should get an answer of negative 0 0.71. That's in kilometer, but I'm not going to write the units yet. Okay, how about for letter for vector B? So I'm now going somewhere north of west, uh, north of east, a bit upward now. So for Bx, again, that's similar formula, B cosine theta. Then for By, By, B sine theta. The angle that you're going to use, so we have the B. B is 1.9. The angle that you're going to use is, if it's 77 north of east, yeah, that's the, the right angle, 77 degrees. And then you should calculate, or you should be able to get an answer of 0. 427 okay <clears throat> and then for the y component you have 1.9 similar but this time sine 77 and you should calculate on you should be able to get an answer of 1.85 okay and what's the next step get the summation of all the x and summation of all the y okay so get all the x summation of all the x that's equal to a x 
plus bx and summation of all the y, that's ay plus by. And then just add all the, these values, so that's negative 1.09 plus 0 0.427. And then for the summation of x, you should get an answer of, I hope, you can verify this. I hope this is uh, correct. Should be negative, right? Some negative 0 0.663 kilometers. But I'm not going to write the, the units yet. And then for the summation y, just add negative 0 0.71 plus 1.85. And then that should be, what is it? 1.14. Positive 1.14 kilometers. So this is your summation of y. Now, to determine the resultant, r is equal to, the formula is summation of all the x squared plus summation of all the y squared, and then substitute the values there. So summation of all the x, just 0. Point, oh, that's negative. Okay, let me correct that. Negative 0. 0.663 squared plus 1.14 squared. And then I think you should get an answer of about 1.32. 1.32 kilometer. So that, this is your resultant. And now for the direction, you need to determine the angle. And the angle is inverse tangent, absolute value of summation of y over summation of x. And then substitute the value, inverse tangent of what is summation of y. 1.14 over negative 0 0.663. Doesn't matter if it's negative, we, we get the absolute value anyway. So the angle is what? You should be able to get an answer of about 60 degrees. But where is that 60 degrees? Where is that? If you notice, somehow your, your y is positive, so positive. Y x is negative, the summation of x is negative. So this 60 degrees is should be this angle. Positive x, neg uh, negative, positive y, negative x. So th this is where your angle is. Because your summation of y here is positive, and the summation of x is negative. So that's how you interpret your final, final direction. And so therefore, r is 1.32 kilometer, 60 degree north of west, correct? So it should be north of west. And I think we get the correct answer. As you can see with our polygon method, yes, correct, perfect. So that's, I'm happy. So see, uh, amazing. Different methods, you should get the same answer. Okay? So I'll see you in the next example. If you find this complicated or it's still hard for you, uh, just follow on my next example. It's a little bit harder, but it will be uh, better because you can, you can follow the step-by-step step again. Okay, see you in the next video or example.